Hey everyone, here's a collection update that's a little different. Um, the collection is kind of in flux right now. Um, it's going through a big change and I kind of want to plan ahead for growth. Right now we have a thousand cars and I'm trying to set up the basement to handle a thousand. So if you look around, there's, there's a few issues with the collection as it sits. Um, first topic of course is dust. I try not to live my life by YouTube comments, but you know, everyone likes to mention the dust. And the first year or two I lived in the house, there really was not much dust. But it turns out when I had my HVAC system replaced last month, I found out that the HVAC system, in terms of the dust filtration, it was a bad system that really wasn't designed to have, you know, three dogs in the house and all the other stuff that I have. So I upgraded to a very expensive dust filtration system that actually zaps dust. Um, it's incredibly effective, but I do have to do a deep clean on all these cars. Um, and that is going to take time, but uh, to be dust free will be pretty neat. Now over here, th this is what I call the main collection, and cars are basically organized by um, geography, the country of origin. And I'm not really thrilled with this setup. Um, some people comment how criminal it is that the cars are so tightly packed. Mirror to mirror. Well, I don't know. I agree to an extent. I think this is a fine way to display them, but space has become an issue. I don't like how, you know, BMWs, for example, have spilled down onto a row with Audis. Um, really, the goal is to have... Um, a country of origin, say Germany, um, go complete from left to right and not be interrupted. I'd like to have a complete sweep of BMWs, a complete sweep of Porsches, a complete sweep of Audis, things like that. And so I really need room to do that and I want to have room to grow in the future to up to 2,000 cars. Uh, the other issue is um, I really just need to move some cars out. So the plan is to move the American cars off the main rows, off these main shelves. Over here, I have what I call the, the working cars, the limos, the police cars, taxis. I'm going to move these out. Um, this will make room for some of the smaller countries of origin, uh, maybe France, Britain. The American cars here will be gone. I'm going to move them out. So basically we're going to have uh, Germany, uh, Italy, and Asia. So I think it's going to take about 250 cars off these shelves. And there'll be a lot more room. Um, I also want to reinforce some of the shelves. If you notice, they sagged over time. So I'll put a little reinforcement because that bothers me. So where are some of these cars going to go? Well, that's the other big change. This room, as you see, is a lot of storage. I'd like to actually drywall that wall, put some flooring down, and take all these boxes and move them to the empty attic. And then that should allow for, I don't know, three, four, five hundred cars worth of room. So that's one big change coming. So over here, nothing's really going to change here. If you look, I mean, I'm behind on uh, reviewing cars. There's a bunch of cars here to review. There's another room. I don't need to use it anytime soon, but again, I can put all those boxes in storage in the attic. And I could easily probably get another two, 250 cars here. So we're up to about 700 cars that I could now find places for. And over here, again, nothing will really change much. More cars to be reviewed. But when I come into this bedroom, um, this closet I started building a shelving unit for, just for cars. I used to have to store books, but no longer have to store those books. So I started building this. Um, I've learned some mistakes. I put some, some kind of central slats for reinforcement. I'm gonna put a little bit of a a lip on each shelf so cars don't roll off. Um, 
it does have a uh, an outlet, so I'll be able to put lighting. I'm going to do, let's see, three more rows. So this is going to be six six shelves deep. It'll end at um, eye height. So this will be probably another about 160, 180 cars. So we're getting really close to a thousand more cars. There's still room over here for f a few more. And I'm going to build a shelf connecting these two units. So I'm going to have my thousand cars in terms of growability. Remember the plan was always to build a separate structure and open as a museum. Um, realistically that's not happening this year. Everything's expensive this year. Building's expensive, land's expensive. So I want to kind of future-proof the collection for maybe two years, maybe three years to come up with, you know, a quarter million dollars to build what I want. Um, I'm not made of money, so a quarter million dollars does not happen easily for me. So this is just the plan ahead for next year or two. So that's it for a collection update. Um, please check out eBay. Our American Excellence cars are doing well. We put more up every couple days. And everyone, please like and subscribe, and have a good one.